Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Miranda Center. A kick out. Kevin Green for three. No good. Spencer, they try to get off with the three already, and they do to start the second half. It was Cyrie Spencer hitting the opening bucket. That one's chucked up. Off front iron, ball's tipped around. Muhammad Amin got a hand on it. Amin just throws Davis out of the way. Driving and finishing is Stevens, the freshman. Knights by six. O'Neal driving. He kicks it out to Fisher. Fisher will jack it up. Here's Lyons. He drives right. Fasolero couldn't get a hand in Lyons with a good finish. Here's Fisher. Fisher to answer the three. He's fouled and he hits it. A possible four-point play. Here's Lyons in the corner. He'll pass up the three drive. He puts Amon on the ground, and he finishes in one. I don't think Penn State or anyone has any problem with that. Fisher for three again. His seventh of the game. His setback three, and he just makes it look so easy. Butler. Butler. He finds Stevens. Stevens stepped in a little bit to his shot. Kick back out. Fusilero underneath, and that's going to be three seconds on Fusilero. He was camped under there. About the tip. And it is Butler winning the tip to Loman. And it will be Shaquille Stevens bringing the ball up. A freshman from Philadelphia. That's no surprise on Butler. The kid can absolutely jump out of the gym. He replaces Mark, but Mark Blunt from last year with the jumping ability. And then we see him on the first play with a buff down low. Green drops at the Butler, and Butler is on the board. The first scorer here at home in the Miranda Center. Yeah, he, he's a good pickup for Millersville. Like we said, a big physical presence. I think the kids around campus call him the LeBron. Working on Witten, putting the moves on. Moss, good pass, too strong. And Coleman lets it go out of bounds. Good vision, though, by Moss. Just right through the fingertips. Give to Williams. Williams is going to go with eight seconds, and the ball's tipped. Now Cabrini can get a shot off. Yeah, that's not what you want. Oh, fancy move by Walls. Wow. Walls again crosses over, and he's fouled. Wow. Williams in the paint. Missed. Blunt skies for the rebound. Gets his own miss. Puts it up. Another miss. Ball's loose, and here come the Cavaliers. Robinson attacking, spin move, good strip by Coleman. Here comes Newman. And it's Butler winning the tip to Cotton, and Stevens, the freshman, will bring it up the floor, guarded by Thomas. There's Butler back up top to Stevens, the freshman. Stevens gets a screen from Cotton. Butler. Driving, kicks it back out to Cotton. It goes off his chest and out of bounds in the first turnover of the game. Welcome back, everyone, for the start of the second half here in the Miranda Center between Newman and Rosemont. Newman up 26 to 18. And, uh, guys, we talked about it before we went into break there, uh, the slow start from both teams, and then both teams kind of found themselves um, at the you know the later stages of that first half. You see the crowd starting to get into it a little bit here behind us with only 39 seconds and a two-point advantage for their home nights. So it's going to be 26 on the shot clock, 39 on the game, a 13-second differential, and you don't have to, you don't have to foul. Green's going to inbound. I'm surprised Kevin Green's inbounding this. I don't know who he's going to go to. Okay, go ahead to Stevens. Let's see what they do. They go to Stevens. Stevens almost traveled. Green gets it. Let's see if they retreat back to Stevens. They do. Floating pass. Stevens gets it away. Back to Charles. Down to 16 to shoot. Charles is trapped. He lost the handle of it. Hand picks it back up, though, and now there is a foul called with 25.9 seconds ago and a two-point deficit for Rosemont. That's what they do. That's exactly what they did. That ball's tipped, and it's going to stay. Got to get, get it in. They get it in. The three to tie. No good. Up, and a tip by Scafidi. Two seconds. Down to one. Ball's tipped. Out of bounds with .7 seconds, and they say it stays. No, he doesn't. So here we go. They go to Roberts for the tie. No good, and the Knights will hold on. 49-46. Gonna push Riddick again, drops it off inside. Butler could finish. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up off glass and in, and move it off to a hot start. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're about to start the second half in about a minute here. Uh, they're, they're just joining us. It's 43-30. Newman leads Keystone here at home in the Miranda Center. And just to go over some first half stats for you, Jesse Longmire leads Keystone with nine points. 1-3-1 one, one zone. Don't see that too much. Riddick trying to drive left. Pulls up baseline from eight feet. Hits the jumper. And Tyreek Riddick 